Welcome to Gloucester Golf Club. I was a member here for a little over 20 years, playing the tees of the day. As you can see, the first fairway slopes hard right to left, so I need to hit this one up the right. Oh dear. This took a bit of finding. It's not a great lie. It's a big enough green for me to actually hit, even from this kind of line. But again, I'm aiming right just to be safe. And that did not come out very nicely at all. I'm off the green here, and I much prefer to chip these. I'm a reasonable lag putter, but I, I'm a chipper. And how you get good at chipping is by Chipping. bad for an old man, hey? Can't begin to tell you how nervous I was on that first tee because there was a whole bunch of my old mates out on the patio overlooking the tee box and uh, they are all staring at me thinking what is he up to? Making par is what I'm up to. Second place downhill so it doesn't play its full length. There's a pair of fairway bunkers down there to avoid. Fortunately I know where they are and I know I can get over the left hand one. So as long as you hit it straight, it's going to run out down the hill. And this one actually runs out um, 300 yards. Not bad for an old man. Well, after the nervous cling on, squeeze the life out of the grip, sort of semi pull off the first, that was quite satisfying. Right, I got 80 yards to the middle. Flag is at the back. Flags are colour coded here, so you've got red front, titter, titter. You've got white at the back, and you've got yellow middle. Now, if this flag was somewhere accessible, I'd go pin hunting, because I've only got 80 yards to the middle. But um, it's a bit early in the round for pin hunting. Right, middle of the green required. There's a bunker left and right. Got to avoid those. Oh dear, look at my feet. I'm set up a little bit on the left side, aren't I? In fact, that's a feature of this weekend. You will keep seeing me set up a little bit open. I'll find the divot in a minute. Yeah, that was a bit short with the sand wedge, but you know, it's rolled onto the middle. Two putts. To get better at golf, you need to know how far you hit each club through the air. That's the average distance you hit through the air. Not that 8 iron you hit 180 yards last summer, or the wedge you just hit 140 because it was downhill and downwind. Without knowing your yardages, you're going to spend a lot of time in front bunkers on holes like this.
fourth is stroke one. It's a dog leg left over some biggish trees and a couple of ponds. This is a difficult tee shot and I am setting up. I want to hit a little draw, that draw I was hitting at Cardigan Bay. But I get this completely and utterly wrong. But there's plenty of space out there, so no real harm done. And this very simply is just a bludgeon with the hybrid out of the rough. There's two front bunkers, left and right. The flag is a white one, so it's right at the back. All I want to do here is to avoid those two bunkers. This is awkward. This is the exit to the green. So the grass is against me. I'm taking some pretty big swings here because I can't afford to chuff it. I've got to accelerate through the ball. Now as it happens, I got the ball a little better than expected. So I've gone beyond the flag, but that's better than a chuff. I'm on the green, I got a chance. Coming up now is the new fifth hole. Gloucester used to be a par 70, then a field was bought at the top of the hill and it was extended to a 72. Now the landowner has asked for some land back. So the fifth hole has been shortened. So now we have something of around about 260 yards. There's three fresh Freshly dug ponds in front of the green and a brand new green. So I'm just hitting a six iron here. That'll give me a, a decent position to uh, attack this green. I've left myself nearly 70 yards here over the pond out of the rough. But I've got a nice fluffy lie and that kind of, that suits me. A fluffy lie and just less than a full sand wedge. So uh, I wasn't afraid of this shot at all. This new fifth, it was only created this year. They only started digging this um, around about the turn of the year. And then the work had to stop for, for lockdown. They've created these three new ponds where there used to be just a single muddy hole and a, and a drainage ditch across here. When this matures, this is going to be absolutely amazing. And there's nothing to fear of. This, there's plenty of green here. Um, I got a birdie perk. Not very convincing, was it? But, uh, you know, Keith and his team have done an amazing job here. I mean, this is, uh, you know, this used to be a very strong par four because you laid up short of the ditch and you left yourself 165 or 170 into a very tight green. A green that was difficult, even if you'd hit it. And, um, I mean, what, what they've created here is, uh, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, it's a six iron off the tee, perhaps a five iron from the competition tee. But it's challenging and it's really pretty. And of course, at, at the back here, it's out of bounds. So if you chicken out from back there and absolutely hammer your wedge, you're going OB. Yeah, I like it. Number six. 
probably the longest tea box in the county. In fact, not probably, I'm absolutely certain it is. The line off the tea is that gap in the trees. I choose a little fade, as usual. Balls run well out into the fairway. There's a couple of bunkers up there. The worst case scenario is I go in a bunker, I flip it out of the bunker and I two putt for a par. So this kind of yardage, I take it on. But it has ballooned into the wind. But a simple chip and run. All the greens here turn from the hill. So I'm going to borrow about three or four feet from the hill on my right. And that turned in perfectly. Shame about the putt though. Sevenfold, little dog leg to the right. The competition tee is about 40 yards behind me. So there is no way that I would be taking this line from the competition tee. I'm just not long enough. And that's a perfect little fade around the corner. Should leave me about a hundred. And there we go, we've got about a hundred. I'm going straight at the flag here. This is a very awkward green. It's humpbacked in the middle. So you might as well go straight at it. But I haven't hit this very well. I'm short right. So this putt is uphill and it's right to left. The flag is almost in the middle of the hog's back. When the flag's on the left side of the green, it is exceptionally difficult. And my, I wish that one had gone in. Eighth hole, pond right in the middle of the fairway. You can drive down the left side of it. From the competition tee, I would be hitting a four iron because I can't get over the pond. But from this forward tee, I can. Ninth hole, par three. From the back, it is 225 into the prevailing wind. Some days you hit drive and you can't get there. I'm going with five wood and I'm using the slope of the fairway there. See if I can kick it into the green. But I ballooned it again. It was wrong club. Longest chip and run. Got plenty of fringe to get over here. So I'm just going to lift this onto the green and run it out. And I chuffed it, so that's well short.
Well, you never know where you're going to make your score or where you're going to make your bogeys. That's the second five wood I've ballooned into the wind, so unfortunately I don't need it on the back nine. Well, that's the flat half of the golf course done. Now we're going to the hilly part of the golf course, so join me in that in a few days' time. Cheerio! So then, this for Terminator Golf, we're on the competition tee on 15. Now you like the downhill 18th at Lillybrook. I think you'll like this one too. <laughs> 